Right, I uh, uh, just also been promising to do this for a while, so uh, this is me pack shaped down for a four, five, up to about ten days worth of kit and gear. Uh, this is what I took on my recent South Downs weight trip, so start with the bag. So the bag is the Osprey Ectos 48. It's the uh, the new shape, the new style, so it's got the uh, the patch on the front that is like a big pocket, but it used to be all mess, it used to be able to fit loads more in it. So anyway, so uh, let's go through. So on the outside is my pole, so I'll get my poles off. So the poles are usually just cheap OEX ones uh, from the outdoors, they were about 50 quid carbon. Carbon lights and uh, hex light carbon, they're called. Then, so as I say, in the front, front big pockets is usually where I keep my tar. So, as with pretty much most of my videos, I take the, uh, the DD tar, because I love it, it's absolutely fantastic. I very rarely use my tent anymore. Uh, you might have seen me. Bamford Edge video. Uh, if not, I'll leave a link in the description, and uh, that's where I take my tent. But I'll do a proper review of the tent when I go when I take it out in uh, this winter. So, tent pegs. So, uh, these are just cheap AliExpress ones. Uh, just dead lightweight, and you've got like a, a cross. Uh, ten of them <coughs> just to go with my tar. Then I take uh, a little bag, I take two different types of cordage. Take a couple paracord, about eight mil, a couple of lengths of that. And then I take four or five lengths of really, really thin paracord, just because it saves on the weight. So that's usually all I keep in the front pouch. Uh, and quite often I'll keep the map. So whatever whatever map I'm doing, whatever I'm going. Uh, I normally also have the GPS, the GPX on my watch and on my phone. So at the side I normally normally carry two one litre water bottles and they just go in the side. So if anyone's ever got the uh, the Exos, the Osprey bags are fantastic because you've got the pouch at the side uh, to get your water out. Uh, also in the side pouches I carry these which are my hydro tablets or vitamin C tablets, they just go in my water. Uh, normally as well in one side I carry my me, me toilet kit which is my shovel, just a cheap plastic shovel. I'd normally have toilet roll and wrapped around my sanitizer and I'd put that into a little dry bag as well. And that is pretty much all I carry on the outside. And then I very rarely take the brain on a uh, on a short trip, just pure and simply because the more the more things you've got, the more you tend to take. So let's dive into this. So right at the top, the waterproofs. So now on my last hike, on my South Downs hike, I only wore these once, and these are um, high estate. I stay jacket, paper jacket, or really lightweight jacket. I paid about 50 quid. Uh, there was, I was watching a guy called Daily Outdoors on YouTube. He's go and have a look at his channel, he's brilliant, he's got some fantastic tips. But he bought the cheaper one. There's there's two they do, there's one for about 20 quid. Uh, I think it's only really showerproof, but this was about 50 quid, and this is uh, uh, absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> Uh, next out, Gore-Tex trousers. Again, I didn't use them on my South Downs, South, South Downs weight trip, pure and simply because it was boiling hot and I didn't need them. Uh, then we've got a cheap little sit pad. I think I paid quid, two quid for it. Little thing that's just for getting in and out, in and out your tent, in and out your towel, whatever. <coughs> next out, buff. Just, just a general buff, you know what you use them for. Then, normally what I'd have in here is, uh, this is your food bag. 
Uh, I use this as a food bag because when I took it on uh, the coast to coast, a squirrel or a keetle or something started eating it, and uh, so that's my dry bag, but it, it, it works well, so it still works. And in here is, uh, is where I keep the food. So I'd normally take a selection. My mother in law buys me these coffee bags, absolutely brilliant. So I'll take, take a load of them. And then I'd normally take a couple of these dried meals, so expedition foods, there's one. Or um, there's something to eat. So there's something to eat meals. They're yeah, quite nice as well. So I normally take, depending on how long I'm, I'm away for, depends on how many meals I take, but I tend to try and eat in pubs as well. So it's, a, it's one way of keeping your food, uh, your bag, your weight down. Next out is my MSR Trail Shop water filter. Fantastic bit of kit. Um, I have had the soya squeeze and the bags tend to go dead, dead brittle. The soya squeeze are brilliant because they fit onto normal thingies, but these, it's literally you stick that bit into the water, squeeze, just squeeze that, squashing this bit, and it just sucks it through and it's brilliant. Again, didn't use it at all on the South Downs way because there was taps everywhere. However, I have used it on my Cumbria way, and it's brilliant, brilliant bit of kit. Next out is my windshield. So uh, let me just put this bag to one side for a second because. So I'll show you the windshield. It's, it's um, again, I bought this, I think I bought this off um, Amazon. Just an aluminium windshield. Brilliant bit of kit, uh, dead lightweight. It's about 300 grams, so it is, I say dead like weight. You can buy um, do-it-yourself ones using a, um, a little piece of kitchen foil, but I tend to find that that works for me. Then I've got my long handled titanium seat to summit. A spoon, a fork, spork. That's that. Next up will be my cup fit. So this is my cock kit, everything's in there. So I'm using the little PRS stove. Now I bought this, again I've, I've got, what I'll do is I'll do another little video because I've got loads and loads of different stoves. So this saved me absolutely, I mean this was, this was fantastic. I mean you can see the size of this thing, it's tiny. So let me just set it out. And there's your stove, and that just sits on top. Turn up later, take a plastic foldable cup, drinking coffee, collapsible cup. So I'll put me, so it's just a normal titanium pot. I think it's, uh, is it 750 litres? And uh, what I do is, see there's the gas, Coleman gas, and then yeah, it just literally screws onto that. And there's your stove. And that, like I say, all sits inside me. Uh, 750 mil fits inside my 750 mil cup and it all fits inside the little cosy so that's my cup kit I normally take a couple of lighters just in case I've also got a striker somewhere but I, I don't know where that is sometimes I take it depends on but I didn't I didn't take it on myself sounds way next out This is my um, electrical stuff. So this is where I keep all my electrics. So I would take, let me just see what's in here. Little petrol head torch. Summer, 
don't really need it, but you never know, so it weighs nothing. Then there's various plugs and wires and stuff. I've got a, a tough to plug out, but charging cables. Take a power bank, just a standard power bank at last, uh, I think it's 38,000 milliamp. Last four or five, it'll charge. So it charged the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus up five times, charged me watch up three times, which is the Fenix 5. And it also charged my little Walkman up as well. So. Yeah, so that's, that's the electrics, and it, of course, like I say, there should be a plug that goes in there. Next out would be my clothing. So, um, what I did was, um, I've, you have to accept when you're hiking in this country, in the UK, that you're going to be wet. So what you've got to do is you've got to accept that you're going to be wet, and you, once you accept you're going to be wet, it's how quickly you can dry. So anyway, um, socks. I take two pairs of thousand mile ankle socks. Yeah, two pairs of them. And one pair of Bridgedales. And they're just Bridgedale hiking socks. Yeah. So take them. Um, Two pairs of running shorts. These are just the uh, Under Armour, the lightweight as you can possibly get. We'll take a couple. Of three spare pairs of boxes because I'm because I'm out through. And what I do is every night at a time I try and wash them and then hang them onto the back of my pack. Or you'll see in the video sometimes they're hanging up. Um, took a rab base layer. It's the long sleeve wrap base layer and I walk in that. And then I took another two similar t shirts. One's a bag house and one was just a normal football top for, for just hiking in. And that was my clothes. That's all the clothes I take. Now we're back. We're into. Next comes out. So this is like all my personal hygiene and stuff. So, um, in this, tick tweezers, so a pair of tick tweezers everywhere, you never know, you don't want them little buggers getting, getting there, so a pair of tick tweezers, I take a tiny little thingy of deodorant, it's tiny, just because on your way back after, so uh, usually what I try and do is, when I'm, when I'm at wild camping or I'm, I'm hiking, I tend to try and stay in a campsite the last night before I'm coming back because that way I can put fresh clothes on, smell a bit because like I've just spent five, ten days in the wild where you normally, you smell and the last thing you want to do is jump back on a train. Smelling, um, I take a little bandage. So my first aid kit's in it. So I'll put this in. I don't normally take a big roll of tape, foot tape. What I do is I'll wrap that round around this or around the compete stick and use that um, Vaseline. Say no more, it uh, works on your feet, on your everything. Talc, so I'll take a big bag of talc just because it's easier to put it in a little bag than to keep it in the, the packet thing. Compete stick. I normally like to say I've tape wrap around it rubbish compete is rubbish i don't don't think it works for me uh, anyone who's seen any of my videos know i suffer with my feet and it's just they just they're horrendous so uh, that's my first aid kit that's everything i take so in there there's antiseptic cream a couple of plasters some normally just paracetamol ibuprofen antihistamines but that's it that's all i take I used to have a big massive first aid kit. Just no need for it. It is just because I hike in trail shoes, I tend to say these these are um like ankle support and they just 
they literally are just um, you have a little sew part and you can wrap them. It's just to support in case I ever sprain my ankle while I'm out hiking. And of course, I have two of them. And then last but not least, um, what's in there? So, I'll see them all. And then I take a little camping towel, which is absolutely fantastic. It folds up into nothing. And you can see the size of it, it's huge. And uh, it dries me brilliant, and then it's dry within a few minutes. And considering I'm six foot three, I'm a big, big bloke. And that goes down to literally to almost nothing. <clears throat> Midge Nat, I always take one of them, especially if you go to Scotland, God send they are. Right, we're now um, so coming to the end. So we stay in the rest. Stay in the rest near where uh, um, XM best bit of kit I've ever bought. Cost me an absolute fortune. Brilliant bed though. Absolutely fantastic bed. Couldn't couldn't do without it now. On top of that I have my Checkology pillow. I think they're about a fiver on Amazon. I paid close to £200 for my thermodex though, so. Um, on the self downs way, I took these two as well. So this is the OAX Thermalite. And it's um, like a liner, sleeping bag liner. The reason I took a sleeping bag liner is because I didn't know what the temperature was going to be like. This gives you a little bit of added protection just because my me, uh, me sleeping bag is quite quite thin and a summer one. As it turned out, didn't need that at all. So that was just excess weight to took. Because I sleep in a tarp, I use a bivy bag. So I've got a big, massive army issue bivy bag, but I bought this off uh, AliExpress 3FUL gear and it's it's a fantastic little bivy bag. I've taken this, I've had this for a, for a while now and it, literally it goes down to the size of your hand. It's, and it's just it's like Tyvek, but it's brilliant, it's a brilliant bit of kit and it is fully waterproof, I've had it out and it's brilliant. So I tend to take that as opposed to taking the big army one, which I have done when on my Cumbria Away video I took my, uh, my army privy bag. So privy bag. And then the last thing, empty bag, is, it's normally, I mean, you can squash this down to literally nothing, but this is the Aegis Max Goose Down 800 fill sleeping bag. And it's, I got that from AliExpress as well. I think, I think this cost about 80 quid. But as you can see, it's, you can see exactly how thin it is, it's, it's, but oh, it's a summer, it's a summer bag, um, it's brilliant, it's a fantastic bit of kit, but the price I paid and how small it goes down to. Uh, the only other thing I took then was um, my shoes, so my running shoes, which I'll show you now. Okay, so the shoes I took are the Ultra Lone Peak 6 and these are fantastic, really comfy, love them, look at the really, really wide toe box. Okay, I've taken the laces out because I've, I've washed them, but um, these were brilliant. Only trouble was, was on the South Downs way, useless, absolutely useless. The, um, let me just tilt that off of there. On the south, da so on the south downs way, they were um, 
not very good. And I'll explain why. No cushioning, hardly any cushioning at all here. If you're doing something like the West Highland Way, the Cumbria Way, the Coast to Coast, in fact, pretty much any other trail I've ever done, they'd be perfect. But because you're spending four days walking on four by four tracks, which is flint and stone, and if anyone's ever done the West Island Way, um, you know, the Telford's, Telford's Road bit when you're going across um, the Moor, um, where is it? Rannoch Moor. You're going across Rannoch Moor and you've got them like cobbles and you, you spend a few hours walking across them and you start biting into your feet. Absolutely nothing compared to the South Downs Way. The South Downs Way, whether it was the heat, the flint, it was just, it was just, it just absolutely ruined my feet. You, if you've watched the South Downs Way video, you'll have seen how how bad my feet were. I mean, my feet normally get quite bad because I'm trying, I'm still trying to work out which is the best shoe. The best shoe I've so far I've, I've found out was uh, the Salomons and um, the actual shoes. However, they were brilliant on me Hadrian's wall walk. But again, my feet suffered again. I think what it is, is I try and push myself a little bit too far because what I tend to do is I tend to walk, I tend to just get up and go and think, I like can walk 150 miles. And then your feet, you know, if you're not practicing. But anyway, so yeah. So ultra, ultra Lone Peak. Lone Peak 6, brilliant. Um, I try these, I'd wear these again. If I was going to do the South Downs way again, which I fully intend to do because I intend to, to finish it and do it and complete it. I will choose something with a rock guard. So something like the Innovates or I'll have a look at New Balance or something, something with a lot more cushioning. Even the Adidas Terex just needs a lot more cushioning. So I didn't use the Adidas Terex because I wore them for my Cleveland Way video, my Cleveland Way hike. And I had to stop at Whitby because my feet swell swell up that much, which apparently is quite quite common. So um, apparently another thing that's quite common is your hands, your fingers tend to swell up as well when you're hiking. So I just thought that was me. But uh, anyway, so also Lone Peaks, brilliant shoes. So that's that tends to be everything. Uh, I've gone through all my kit. What I'll do is I'll do another video uh, a bit later on in the year when I, um, I go and do a winter, couple of winter hikes because I'm going to tend now to do, uh, I'll probably do a little little couple of day hike. There's a 40 mile one, which I've done before called the Gritstone Trail and, and I'm going to go and do that again because that was one of the very first hikes I did. But And then I'm probably going to go back up and do the West Highland Way again because that's fantastic and I didn't vlog that at all. but. Anyway, I'm starting to waffle now, aren't I? So I'm going to shut up and uh, thank you very much for watching. Thanks everyone who likes, subscribes and comments and says, says things on the videos. I do appreciate everything. And uh, yeah, say hi, yeah. get involved, have a chat, you know what I mean? Give, give me ideas where to go. And uh, yeah, I've, I've got more plans, more, more hikes and uh, I'm going to do some little day trips just overnight so the channel will kind of diverse a bit from me just hiking hopefully so i'll see you on the next one see you later